Good morning everybody and welcome to another vlog. In today's vlog, um, I'm doing nothing. I'm basically just going to show you guys what I get up to. I haven't got anything planned and this vlog is going to span over a few days, not just today. So I hope you enjoy it. It's a bit different to usual, but as I've been telling everybody, I've just been a hermit lately because I've had so much study to do. So I haven't really done anything too exciting. The most exciting thing that happened yesterday was me going to get a coffee because I just sat and wrote an essay all day. So yeah, I just want to show you guys a bit more of the reality and the low key moments in my life too. Not just, you know, me going shopping or me going to events and whatnot. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this vlog. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. And without further ado, let's get it started. And I want to show you guys what I'm wearing today because I'm really loving this outfit. It's just combining a lot of different pieces, but I think they work well together. So I've got this Camilla and Mark t-shirt with my Manning Cartel pants. And you might recognize these pants from one of my vlogs I did a while ago where I went to a 21st and I wore these pants with heels and like a satin top. So now I've decided to actually wear them casually and yeah, they're pretty, pretty cool. Like that baggy jean look. So I really like them. And then I've got my Stuart Wiseman sandals and they're like very Roman Roman or Grecian style sandals. So yeah, this is the look of the day. So we've come into Crown Casino to get some cakes um, because they have some really nice cake stores and living in the city, there are so many options to buy pastries, but we found a really cute place here, haven't we, mum? Yeah, they sell the best cakes. Yeah, a really good lemon meringue. So yeah, we're just gonna go and get that now and then I'm gonna go to the waiting room and get a takeaway soy flat white because I really need it. <laughs> All this essay writing and I've got so many bags under my eyes. They're very, very deep. The bags under my eyes are not Chanel. It's so funny being in Crown on a Sunday morning because there are like no people. Walking in this hall on a Saturday night is like dodging so many people. So it's so funny like being here. It's like a ghost town, isn't it? So funny. So yeah, and if you don't know, I think I've mentioned this before. Crown is like this big complex in Melbourne where there's a casino, there are like three hotels and so many good restaurants. So yeah, it's a good little like hub in the city. Um, if you don't know where to go, what to do, there's always like something to do here. So we just love visiting every now and then. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's really not many people around at all. So we've just ordered our cakes and now we're waiting for them, but they are quite like expensive compared to usual, I guess. Um, it is a crown, so they obviously capitalize on that. But um, seeing as it is a gift, you know, it's nice to get somebody nice cakes and they're quite generous sizes too. So yeah, isn't that right? They are, and they're well worth it. Yeah, I think so. Once and they're so bite. delicious. Those lemon meringues are, oh my God, amazing. So, yeah. might actually open up the sunroof. Well, not the sunroof, but the actual like cover of it to let in some sunlight. Here we go. It's Melbourne, take advantage of the sunshine. Yeah, because I think tomorrow it's gonna be cold again. So you just can't win here. The weather is unpredictable as we all know. And these are my sunnies. I got them quite a while ago, but because it hasn't been sunny in Melbourne, I haven't really worn them. So yeah, I'm finally getting to wear them and they're like an aviator style with these, um, what would you call them? Like 
studs. They're kind of like the rock stud shoe equivalent in a sunglass, but they're not Mason Valentino. They are Louis Vuitton. So yeah, they look pretty cool, I think. Very like, hmm, very Gigi Hadid, I feel like. These are like her sunglasses. I could so see her wearing these, but yeah. Hey guys, so it is Monday now and it has already been a bit of a crazy day. So let me explain. It is now 10 to 12 and basically I had a 3000 word essay due at 9 a.m. this morning. I've been working on this essay all week and every day I've been rewriting parts of it and it was 3000 words. So there's like a lot of elements to go into this essay. So I did put a lot of time into editing it, but last night, as usual, I was so stressed and I was just rewriting parts of it and not really happy with it. So I ended up working until about 2.30 a.m., which is pretty crazy for me because I don't really like staying up after 12. Like, I just, yeah, it just doesn't work with me. I The next day I feel so gross, which is how I feel now, just because I've like not gotten enough sleep. So anyway, it was due at 9 a.m., submitted it at 2.30, but I woke up at like quarter past eight and being my anxious self, I was like, I think I should, you know, look over it again and edit more parts of it. So yeah, with 45 minutes to go, I edited it and then resubmitted it. So yeah, I didn't really get the sleep in that I had anticipated. So I'm a bit like sleep deprived and just not feeling the best today, but I'm just so glad that one essay is over because that was the essay I was dreading. So that's done and only three to go. But the three that I've got to go, they're from subjects that I really love. So yeah, they're gonna be a lot more enjoyable to write than the essay I just did. So. Yeah, it is a good start to my Monday. I feel like I've been so productive, but I actually haven't done much other than submit an essay. So now I'm going to get out of the house because I'm going like stir crazy in here. I've been in here for way too long. So I'm going to go and get a coffee and just walk around the city because I didn't even get to do that on the weekend because I was studying. So yeah, I just want to have a look around and just enjoy the day a little bit before coming home and working on the next essay. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. And I thought I'd also show you guys what I'm wearing because you know, I like to do that. So let's have a look. So this is the outfit of the day. I'm wearing this forever new denim shirt, these Zara leggings that I always wear with these Stuart Weissman boots that I also always wear. So outfit repeating and mixing and matching as per usual. But yeah, I really love this shirt. I got it like start of last year. So back in maybe March last year. Yeah, it's weird that I remember that, but I do. And yeah, it's um, a forever new piece. And I really love their clothes because they're affordable, but also really like feminine and really just like really good quality to be honest as well so yeah that's like the detail of it and yeah that's the complete look of the day now to go put some perfume on let's see got my new new perfume this is like everyone always comments on this this is a Moschino um, perfume it's like a Windex thing so I've got my Mew Mew perfume and just going to spray that. Not on you guys though. So I've got my perfume on, I'm all good to go and yeah, I'm gonna get out of here and get some fresh air, which will be really nice. It looks so miserable outside and let's have a look at the weather forecast. I don't think it's looking too good. It says 17 and 60% rain at one o'clock, so. I've got an hour before it starts raining potentially, but this is Melbourne. So knowing my luck, I'll probably get rained on in the process. So going to bring an umbrella as well. I am back home now and it's like two o'clock and I had a really good walk around the city. I'm feeling like so much better for doing that and just so much more clear-minded and just 
de-stressed so I'm feeling really good and I've had a coffee so I'm not as tired as I was before although before I had the coffee I was like walking around the city nearly falling asleep I was so tired um, what else happened? Oh yeah, when I was on my like walk around, I was walking near the Royal Arcade and these two lovely British tourists came up to me and they're like, oh, can you recommend any old arcades that we could visit? And they had their map out and everything and I was just telling them like where to go and <laughs> the lady was like, you should be a tour guide. And I was like, oh. That's so nice of you, um, which is really funny just because like I love Melbourne so much that I actually would be a tour guide if I could. Um, or not if I could, but I guess if I didn't want to do other things. Hey guys, so I'm going to leave the video there. It is Wednesday now and I have two essays due on Friday, so I've just got to power through those and keep reading and writing and all of that fun stuff. So. Yeah, um, I just wanted to say thank you for watching. As usual, you guys um, are great and thank you for your support. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and leave a comment below if you did or if you have any feedback for any other video ideas. And don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. We're sitting at 49 subscribers right now as I speak. So hopefully we can get to 50. Let's see how we go. So without further ado, let's leave it there, I guess. Um, and I'll see you guys next Thursday. You know where to find me. I'll see you then. Bye.